What we'd like you to look at this week is how you can improve your drawing skills. So we're still working on the Mars buggy. We're going to look at that in a couple of different views, but before you start drawing it, I want you to redraw your buggy this week. I want you to go through a couple of drawing exercises. So first thing I want you to do will be to just draw five or six lines like these ones over here just showing that you can alter the pressure on the line. The next thing I want you to do, remember we taught you at the start of the year about using faint construction lines to plan your drawing out and then going over the ones you want to keep heavier. This means that you don't really have to rub anything out, okay? Now, you're going to draw me four squares, then I want you to use varying degrees of tone, so varying weights on the pencil, to show that we can do a light, medium and dark. Now. No, remember how we hold the pencil. We're not holding it right at the tip, we're holding it an inch or so back. So remember, when I lay out my construction lines, nice and faint on the page. Sometimes it's easier to move from your elbow than it is to with your wrist. With my eye, I tend to look at where I want the pencil to go, so have an idea of where you want to go. The next exercise we're going to do here is we're just going to take this idea of graduated tone where we can adjust the pressure on the pencil and just change how we do that a bit. So I'm trying to give the idea that something's slightly rounded by going darker at the edges and then going to absolutely nothing on the inside. So just using the white of the paper to show that it's white. Now notice I'm not doing it in one go. I'm going back over and over myself. I'm really pressing quite lightly with the pencil now, hardly, literally just the weight of the pencil. I'm almost holding the pencil off. And then go, once I've got the bulk of the area shaded in, then it's that detail that's really going to lift the quality of your work. And if you lift the quality of your work, you're lifting the grade of your work. And then we generally shade in the same direction, but you can then just go around the edges and adjust that direction for the way you want to go. Okay, now this is what I don't want you doing. This won't help you at all. Drawing three squares and just scribbling over them. That is not improving your skills in any way whatsoever. So the purpose of doing this exercise is just like warming up for football or any other sport. We need to practice to get better. We need to train ourselves in skills. Okay, so you're going to redraw your Mars buggy. Now I've sped up the video here, so don't try and draw this fast. First thing I'm going to do is just a pretty much a rough throwaway sketch of my Mars buggy. So I'm going to redraw the one that you saw in the video last week. And what I'm doing here is just getting an idea of proportions. So I've got a sort of halfway line. So in my mind, the sort of the wheels are coming almost all the way up to halfway. And then I'm sort of saying if the wheels were sort of the equivalent of one space, then the front and the back is about a third. Now, I'm going to have that just above me. So when I draw my final one, I can use that as a reference to get things laid out. Now, for the wheels, if you've got a compass, great. Um, but you don't need to. So I just found a nightlight candle to draw around to get something circular. One of the things we're going to do here as well, you notice I've left this space over on the right here. I want to draw the vehicle from two different angles today. So I'm going to do the side on view like you guys had a go last week. So you should be trying to improve on that this week. So have a look at your design from last week and think, OK, that, that's my final idea. Now, how can I just tweak it a bit? How can I make it more effective? Remember, I had the sort of satellite dish on the back here. I had those vents on the back on my one that were going to sort of cool down the motor inside um, and again just notice I've just kind of got the whole thing laid out and now I'm going round, sort of rounding off edges of windows I didn't draw that straight away I didn't just draw that as a continuous line and if you notice I tend to draw the straights and then add the curve at the end so again just bringing that in a bit heavier now now when I draw the center of the wheels what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of, I've located the center before I draw the bits in around the edge. And now I just want to give it the effect of having a sort of chunkier wheel. So I'm dividing it into eight. So first thing I do is to go quarters, so north, south, east, west, and then halve each one of those again. And that just means I get this all nice and equidistant. Now, my front elevation, if this is my side elevation, this is my front elevation. So the wheels here 
are the same height as they are over here. So if this is the top of the wheel here, this becomes the top here. If this is the base here, this becomes the base. But I decide on the width. One of the things I found when I was making this video is I was incredibly hard sort of twisting my wrist around. So make sure you're rotating the paper around to make it comfortable for you. So now I'm trying to draw what the image would look like from the front here. Um, we call this orthographic projection as well. And it's a sort of step towards doing a proper engineering video. Okay, so again, now I'm trans transferring the two bits of glass across. And I've decided that I'm going to make mine slope in at the top. I want mine to be nice and stable. Might have to go across some sort of steep slopes. So I don't want it toppling over. So I've gone for a wide wheelbase across here, okay? Key thing here, pencil sharpening. You're not going to do very well without a pencil, a sharp pencil. Now I've decided my light source is coming from above, from the top left. So to make it look a bit more realistic, I'm shading in darker areas lower down on the picture and to the right of the picture. Now I'm going to skip through this in a minute. Remember again, this is going at four times the speed now. A light blue for the windows. Again, just bringing in those edges and that's why we practice this graduated tone at the start. Notice I've left a couple of areas here just to give that idea of a reflection. Again, darker lower down to try and bring those shadows in. Again, just leaving some white. We don't generally use white pencil at this stage. And another way, just leaving a straight line sheen here, just to give that idea of reflected light. Notice I'm predominantly trying to go in the same direction, but when you get into areas like this, you're gonna to have to change direction. And don't be afraid to use your pencil to shade in as well. Again, light's coming from up here. So try and giving the idea that these are sunk into the side of the vehicle just going really dark up in that edge. And then I'm just gonna bring in the red. Now I'm not trying to color it in, I'm trying to give the impression of what color it is. So I don't mind if I leave areas red, uh, white that it doesn't actually have any shading at all. But the idea is that you're consistent across it. Your brain will fill in gaps if you give an idea. Now I'm just gonna use a biro. I quite often use a fine liner, but I thought I'd use a biro to do this. It's not, my, it's not ideal, but I just wanted to show you that you could improve the effect with stuff that you would just have lying around at home. And again, just adding a bit of detail around here, just to put some wheel nuts on. Again, bringing in the biro here. And again, just using the biro over the top of the pencil as well. Good, so what we're hoping to see from you this week is another drawing of your Mars Rover. Improve on your initial idea, but I wanna see two views. I wanna see a side view like this, and I wanna see a front view or a rear view. So give me an idea of how wide the thing's gonna be as well. I'm quite happy if you change your design. So now we're following our design process and developing our final idea. Excellent, I look forward to seeing all your designs.